Hi there, uh, my name is Andrew and welcome to my journey of 2021 and this journey is going to go on for well, hopefully a long time and I'm doing this for a set reason and I'll get to that in a little minute but I want to explain to you what my journey is. So I want to learn something new and I've got so many ideas in my head but I need to tie down exactly what I want to do, what do I want to learn and how am I going to keep myself motivated and how am I going to do it and I thought I'm going to document this journey so that somebody else can copy it I could get some support from people, from people out there, anything so all these ideas, here's just some of the tip of the iceberg that I want to do I want to learn some graphic design I want to learn how to play the guitar I got a new camera for my Christmas, I wanted to learn to do some photography which ties into light painting I want to get a little bit fitter, I'm not exactly the, the fittest pe person out of there uh, and I want to get into video editing and I looked at all those things and I said is there anything that comes under the kind of same or similar umbrella that I can transfer those skills for different things now photography and light painting, yes but then to make the photos look good I need a little bit of graphic design knowledge to get that one so I kind of push the photography to the side and I thought guitar, okay, but it only scratches a tiny itch and obviously I can't do it when the kids are sleeping and things like that, depending on what I'm doing and yeah, there's not much I can do without actual physical practice. I can't do research and I love research, I'm a practical person. So I cut it down to two things, I want to learn to do some graphic design and I want to learn to do some video editing. So this is going to be my journey to learn how to become or use graphic design packages and video editing packages. So let's let's take a little look deeper into this. Now I do have a problem. I am not creative and this is my big big downfall. I am not creative. I can take an idea, I can adapt it and I can use it. Ask me to come up with something original, doesn't happen. It has to for me it has to come from a base knowledge of something or somewhere or somebody else has done it and I tweak the idea but to come up with something completely brand new I just I just can't do it. So let's have a wee look. So this is my idea. Graphic design. I want to learn Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer and I, I'm not going to lie to you I have a little bit of limited knowledge in the basics of it. I can cut stuff out-ish. I can put things together, I can draw, I kind of know a little bit and I've watched a lot of videos on it but I've not done a lot of practical. Uh, so down the graphic design pack uh, package or side I want to look at Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer as part of my journey. On the other side of things, the video editing, I want to learn DaVinci Resolve and once again I'm not going to lie, I do have a little bit of limited knowledge in DaVinci just now, just basic editing, putting one video clip, next video clip, perhaps sticking a transition on top of it. There you go. I want to learn so much more. And I know now like, the colours all washed out in this video and it looks horrible. And I want to see where I'm starting from. And I want to improve on it and move forward and stuff like that. But here's my other problem, my personal problem. Yeah, I want to learn it, fine. But I need a purpose to actually motivate me. I need a purpose to actually do these things uh, and kind of thought through my head what's going to what's going to come up as an idea for these things what what's going to motivate me to go through it and for me I had a little thing and I came up with two things so for the graphic design type of thing I want to go down the red bubble route and I've seen people like make t-shirts and mugs and all that stuff on Redbubble and I thought that'll give me a little bit of motivation because if somebody buys something I'll want to have that little kind of hit of adrenaline of oh that feels good, somebody bought my product, somebody likes my work and it's like a little bit of self-recognition that I'm learning and doing well so it's kind of a full circle thing so I quite like the idea of doing that so I'm going to go down the Redbubble route for using Affinity Suite as it were to create t-shirts, mugs and stuff like that. Now we've got the other side of things in DaVinci Resolve, YouTube. I am here. 
Uh, I want to document my journey. And the best way to do that is through YouTube. I think by documenting it, you can see the pitfalls, the things that go well for me, the things that go bad for me, and you can support me, I can support you in whatever journey you're going on just now, whatever learning journey you want to do. So I work best, the type of person I am, I work best with targets. So I thought, here we go, get into the targets. Month one, this is what I'm going to do. So January to January. I want to look at DaVinci Resolve and I want to record and edit. I want to try and learn some basic animations, moving things around the screen and just familiarise myself with all the layout and stuff uh, and get a little bit of more in-depth knowledge. On top of that, I'm going to watch tons of YouTube videos on different techniques and things. On the YouTube side of things, I want to set up a banner, page, avatar, all the basics and I want to try and get three videos. Now, it could be me explaining how I'm feeling, how I'm getting on. It could be me trying out a couple of tutorials on DaVinci or a couple of tutorials on some of the Affinity stuff. And then kind of a summary at the end. I don't know. We just need to see how this goes. But that's my target for DaVinci and YouTube. But I've got like the Affinity side of things. I want to familiarise myself with it. And design banners and design some things for Redbubble. Problem is, obviously, it's got to be simple to begin with. And then in Redbubble, I'm going to set up a page, banner. So this is once again the Affinity Photo Designer getting things sorted. Do you know what? These things can change. This is going to be a constant cycle because skill level just now, zero. Skill level in a month, one. <laughs> I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Uh, and then Redbubble lists 10 products. If I get a sale, I get a sale. I am not too bothered about that. I just want to get the initial kind of stuff going out. Get things set up, get some ideas, watch a lot of YouTube videos uh, and hopefully come 1st of February, do another one of these and we'll get a little bit better. We are improved and we can set some new targets based on what we're doing. So this is where I am just now. That's where I want to be in one month's time. I've got three videos this month, at least. This is number one. Two more to do. That's my journey. What's yours? Let me know down below. What are you going to do? Not a New Year's resolution. Resolution is I'm going to try this. I'm going to do this. This is a journey. This is not talking about where I'm going to end up. This is talking about how we're getting there. The whole path we're taking. The ups, the downs, the successes, the failures the other failures and probably more failures but that's how we learn so thank you very much and i will see you next time